Hey guys, Classic Gengar here, and today we are going to be doing the last post live commentary thing that I've been doing for a couple videos. So today we're going to be battling Zack. Sorry if the camera is moving a little much. Um, I'm bringing the same team I brought against Jose and Afnan, and he's got Mega Metagross, Mudsdale, and a whole lot of other problems. I'm gonna just put my arms down. So, um, this is a pretty good battle. It was actually really close. Um, truth be told, I was like kind of, I was uh, so far ahead for most of it. But uh, you'll see. So he leads with his Mudsdale, and um, I'm pretty sure this thing is Assault Vested. And I'm just gonna lead with my Garchomp. Now, um, I knew this thing couldn't do too much to me, but you know, it's, um, I couldn't really do much to it either. Like, usually Assault Vest sets on Mazelle are Earthquake, Stone Edge, maybe Rock Slide. Um, I kind of predicted the Earthquake here. I went to my Celesteela, and he actually withdrew and went into his Harambe, which is the Passimian. Um, I think I'm just going to go for the Leech Seed here, or the Toxic, one of the two. Um, and, oh wow, the frame rates are actually not that good on this video, so, uh, so, he swap, he U-turns out, um, it doesn't do much to me, he's gonna go into his Tapu Koko, which, uh, isn't that big of a deal, I do have something that is completely immune to electric attacks, and I am gonna get a Leech Seed off, so, I'm pretty much gonna be fully, I'm gonna be back to full, after everything's said and done, after Leech Seed and leftover so in a pretty good spot um he's not gonna want to stay in here because he's gonna be slowly sapped away so i'm just gonna swap back into my guard chomp um i don't want to take any electric attack and guard chomp can survive a dazzling gleam from a life orb tapu coco so it's uh my best kate my best bet and he actually goes with a discharge so that kind of leads me to believe he's a doubles Tapu Coco. They typically do run Discharge over Thunderbolt. Interestingly enough. And I'm just gonna go. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake here. Maybe. I like I said, this has been about a week. So, okay. He does just bring out his Harambe, and I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. Um He actually leaves this thing in here next turn and Obviously, you know the Earthquake is going to be able to take it out, and there's no way he's going to outspeed me unless he's scarfed. And even then, I still think I might outspeed. So I just go for the second Earthquake and take it out. Not not too big of a deal. Um, I wasn't scared of that thing anyways. It couldn't. I don't believe it really did much to my whole team. I mean, I have plenty of counters. He actually goes into his Raichu, which is interesting but it's psychic surge so in, or electric sur surfer surge surfer which makes sense so it will outspeed but i don't know i just he goes for the hidden power and it does a pretty good amount to me a uh, really good amount so it's life orb it's hp ice and uh might have just been a low roll but earthquake is definitely going to be able to take this thing out so I've already got a pretty decent lead on him. Uh, I haven't lost a single Pokemon yet, and Garchomp's, he's not in good shape, but I mean, he's Scarf, so he outspeeds. Uh, he's gonna send out his Metagross here, and I didn't quite want to go down to a Bullet Punch, because that would be really bad for me. I kind of feel like I need Garchomp to put in work. So I sent out my Tapu Lele, predicting that. Uh, hoping to just completely make it a moot point with uh, with getting the psychic surge up, so it would just be a wasted turn, and then I could just swap and probably sell Steela, um, but that is only if he went for the bullet punch, which he did. So I did make a good play here. Um, I'm definitely not going to leave Tapu Lele in against this thing. Uh, Meteor Mash I think takes me out every single time, uh, so. It's pretty huge. So I'm just going to bring in Celesteel. It's a good counter. Uh, I'm like resist all of its stab. 
It's still, it's, I'm not running a defensive set, so it's still going to do decent damage to me. But uh, this also get, lets me get up my Leech Seed, Toxic, whatever comes in, you know, that kind of thing. And I still haven't lost a Pokemon at this point, so in my head, I'm thinking I'm doing really well. So he's just going to stay in, he's going to go for another Meteor Mash, which is fine. I mean, I do have Flamethrower, and I just set up a Leech Seed. Um, Flamethrower does a pretty good amount. Uh, I don't think I have any really, I think I have like four special attack investment with Modest Nature. So, I mean, I can, I, it hits relatively hard for how little investment it has. So, um, I think I do go for the Flamethrower this, this turn. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I've done this video. Um, I actually just, this is uh, the last one, I'm kind of glad. I don't like doing this because I, don't want to rewatch the video because it takes like 20 minutes to do it and it's just it's a lot of work so he's just gonna send out his tackle coco uh, which you know still not gonna want to take the uh, the flamethrower that I dish out it, uh, it actually does pretty good damage all things considering it's not stab you know I mean so, um, I'm kind of thinking here, like, last time he had his Tapu Koko out, I went into Garchomp. Like, yeah. So he predicted that I'd go back into Garchomp, which I was not going to do. It's a little bit of a mind game, a huge risk for me, and I am going to be able to get off the Flash Cannon and take out his Tapu Koko. So, I mean, I'm still, and so far in this match, I am in pretty good shape, um, like, Sail of Steel is doing really good. It's above half. Uh, Garchomp is scarfed, and I can make it so that he, uh, that, uh, brain fart. <clears throat> so this is basically where I messed up, because Sail of Steel is critical for handling the uh, Metagross for me, because I don't, I can't, take out a Metagross with an Earthquake from my, uh, from my Garchomp. So he's gonna go for the Close Combat, and that does huge damage to me. Like, huge, huge damage. And, um, I'm just, uh, it is toxic, so it's, it's not in the, the best of shape, but that really did a number. So, um, going to he actually withdraws here, which is kind of interesting. Uh, probably, he did predict the Leech Seed, but, um, so that, that did, that did work out in his favor, but at the same time, like, he could have taken me out, whatever. I actually don't remember what I do here. Oh, I just go for the Flamethrower. See, this is probably a bad play here. I should have, like, swapped into anything else. Um, but at this point, I was under the, I was thinking that I probably wouldn't have a chance to like get Celesteela up to a decent health to survive a Meteor Mash from a uh, a Mega Metagross, which is true. I mean, I definitely wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, this uh, just doesn't doesn't. I do get the burn there, so that's actually pretty good because with the burn, I. I think I'm pretty sure I survived this next gyro ball. Yeah, so that's actually pretty huge um, for me. Looking back, I probably should have swapped into something against this thing, though, because Celesteela just does so much work, so much work. But I'm just gonna be able to take this thing out and get a little bit of leftovers recovery back. And I get a Beast Boost, which I don't believe he has any more special attackers at this point, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, I don't think it actually matters at all. And um, so, I mean, I'm still thinking that I'm in a really good spot. I am completely under the impression that I am going to win this because I've got all of my Pokemon, and he's got a Mega Metagross, which I've dealt with plenty of times. And a uh, Mudza, which is toxic. So, I'm just in my head, I'm thinking I, I've got this, you know. He's just gonna go for the Meteor Mash. Uh, I kind of, yeah, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. 
is what it is, guys. It is what it motherfucking is. So, <clears throat> he's, uh... I go into Delmize, and I'm thinking that I can I can handle this thing, because Delmize I think I'm running a defensive one, but I guess I'm I'm not not too sure what my set is. For, but uh, I no longer use Delmize. Is the flinch? That's what did it. The flinch. So uh, if I actually wouldn't have got that flinch off, I would have gotten Phantom Force, and I think I actually would have been able to take him out with an earthquake so we'll see we'll see so I go for fan force not a huge no, whatever so what I should have done looking back is that when he sent out his muzzle against my Celesteela I should have just went into my uh, my Delmize because it actually counters this thing really well that did huge damage. Um, I was under the impression that I'll speed this thing too. Hold on, guys. If my camera gets all fucked up. Sorry. Sending a message to my wife. Um, <sighs> looking at it now, I should just go for the. Okay, he does outspeed. So that's not. That's not too surprising, honestly. I have zero investment. I do think I might have naturally higher speed, but I'm not too sure about that, honestly. So, so that's just some of the things I could have done. Preserve Celesteela earlier on against the Mudsdale. And then I'm just going to send out Tapu Lele basically to get rid of the uh, priority so that I can get... Now, I should have went for... The stab moon blast here, uh, but I don't. I go for shadow ball. I'm not sure why I went for shadow ball. It's really bad on my part because he actually lives the um, that, and you know it's not too bad because I couldn't have survived an attack from the Metagross anyways. Meteor Mash would have taken me out. He would have definitely outsped me. Um, and actually, it just keeps the terrain up. A little, that much longer but um yeah I could have played this game better I, I don't feel like I played terribly it just I didn't have enough to counter the Mega Metagross which is the problem is the only Pokemon that gave me any real problems um and I'm not gonna be able to take it out with the earthquake nah also, probably should have swapped on the uh, the Raichu, the uh, HP Ice. Really, I think I definitely would have won this if I would have done two things: preserve Celesteela against the um, the Mudsdale, or earlier on, knowing that he swapped in a Raichu on me on this, so he might he has to have something to hit me with. So preserving my Garchomp's HP. So those are like just two things that I could have done better. And at this point, I've got a fairy type, um, fairy type Savali, and then this thing. Uh, it's at plus one, I believe. Um, if it didn't have the psychic terrain up, I actually probably might have. Sur I had a very, very good chance to survive the uh, the Zen headbutt. So. Me getting the train up actually worked out better for him. So what I could have done is like had Tox specs out, then swapped into Savali. Or, you know, at least brought Baneful Bunker, which probably would have been good to get rid of that. But, you know, then I risked him getting another, you know, plus one. So he could have got to plus two with Meteor Mash. And um, that would have been just as bad. So... He's going to easily take me out. Um, I don't even think that was a roll. I think I would have had to be completely invested. But yeah, that's it for this battle. If the frame rates are really bad on the video, because I think they might be, I apologize. But I did promise I'd get this video out. So, there we go. Alright guys, follow me on Twitter. Or support me on Patreon. And have a great day, guys. Have a great day.